What is going on everybody? Welcome to the video that I was supposed to actually do for uh, 100 subscribers, which thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. I'm coming back on the right track. I really hope, I really hope that I could come back and at least hit 300. I really appreciate the support. I really appreciate everything that you guys have done throughout the past few days that's been going on. Um, <laughs> you can see Sandy in the background. She's in my bed just messing around with my blankets. Hey, don't be scratching on my blankets over there. <laughs> she just scratching on my blankets. She does this every time. Dog related shit. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, welcome to the fall of GB Barbarian and the rise of Zen Meister. This is going to be a journey. It's going to be part one. Um, I'm going to start off with my first ever video <laughs> that I actually did a long time ago. Now, unfortunately, my dumbass deleted the channel. <laughs> so a lot of you don't really know that. <laughs> but um, I do have uh, pictures of my old channel uh, on my Instagram. So uh, check my Instagram. It's in the link in the description. But basically, um, what happened was, um, and it didn't start too long ago, like I had a bit of an issue, but uh, let's just start straight from the beginning. So I started doing videos a little bit different, but the only difference was like all those videos that I actually did were private. I never really actually got the videos up straight to extent to the point where I could at least like put them up public. Like literally, I did not have videos that were public. The first ever video I did was back in August 13th at least. No, August 19th, uh, 2013. It was around the time where I was actually getting into YouTube. Um, I was actually there when YouTube first started, like around uh, 2005. I didn't go towards YouTube until like later, like around 2007, but I did see a lot going on around that website and it wasn't surprising to me. Because really, all I did well on a YouTube was really just look at some episodes of Teen Titan. Mm, that's all I really did. Also, um, I just want to make it clear that um, the only reason I'm looking down right here is because I want to make sure the recording's actually there. Otherwise, I'm going to be yelling at myself if the recording stops. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said. Uh, it started out a little bit differently. I didn't really do too much uh, to start doing YouTube. I just wanted to just come up with something and just do a video on it. And literally all you can just see is just me just standing in the camera, looking at my computer, and no audio. Well, actually no, no audio, just voice. Just a voice audio, no music, no cutting, and no screen recording. It's just straight boredom <laughs> and I remember I was singing I was singing the freaking song and you guys remember the uh the fucking uh what is it is it teen was it the teen beach movie I remember this and I I sung cruising for a bruising and I was sitting here like oh god <laughs> oh Jesus Christ and I saw these videos and I was wondering like what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> but other than that, um, I recently had to give back everything that I had and I started uh, Google Hangout on, oh sorry, Google Broadcast on air. And that was the first time I've ever streamed um, certain games, like for example I did um, I did like some flash games, like I literally just started out like just doing flash games. I didn't do too much really. And then after that I kind of actually gotten into uh, doing just regular screen recording and then I started recording uh, games like around the distance, like for example Dungeon Nightmares uh, or any in particular game that was mostly horror because I mostly focused on that when I was actually around that time and it was really really difficult to do that type of recording especially as a kid the reason I couldn't do it was because my parents my parents were so strict on me like as a kid of course they wouldn't let me do YouTube as soon as I hit a hundred subs as soon as I hit a hundred subs they would not take me seriously now they will take me seriously but 
back then they wouldn't take me seriously. So obviously I had to just do videos a part time and it really affected my grades. So I kind of realized like as a kid, I was like, I don't care. Like I'm going to get bad grades because I'm a kid. Like what do you expect? I'm not going to focus on my schoolwork. And they basically, uh, they had to do, uh, Plan B. And don't ask what that is, because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but basically, um, yeah, I couldn't really do videos throughout the time. I can mostly do it, like, every now and then. Like, I couldn't even do YouTube, like, throughout the time I actually had 100 subs, because I've been getting most actives and less actives, and it was getting annoying, so I didn't know what to do at that point. So, when I first did it, I had to take a realization that my entire, my entire life was literally forced down by my own parents, and I couldn't revive that channel, like, and I recently got, and literally, it started growing faster and faster throughout the time, and I got towards 300 subs, and it was around that time I actually got something for once. It was ridiculous. So. I literally got 300 subs and then when I did I made sure to do a video to say thank all of those people that actually helped me throughout that time. Now the thing is I remember this clearly back in 2016 I had to delete my channel. My entire channel was a void. I couldn't do anything about it. Like literally everybody couldn't go and see my videos because everything was just struck up. I was losing more views, I was losing people that wasn't even there. Like literally, the notification bell was just anonymous. It was just stuck. So when everything crashed down, I had no choice but to restart and rebrand. And that's when I started doing another YouTube channel, which is this one. And of course. When I first did this, I wasn't too sure of what I was going to do. Um, and I lost everyone. I lost the, my streaming buddy, my good friend Ethan. I, I, he was a good friend of mine. And he, we'd been doing streaming since 2013. And the fact that I lost everything, it, it was just ridiculous. And then years later, um, I'll explain that la later, but... I'll tell you guys in a bit, but I lost everybody. And I did see, and a lot of people don't really know this, but I've seen the YouTubers that you guys know today grow from 2011 to 2019 and towards 2020, at least early 2020. Like, you guys have to understand, like, throughout that time, Prime was 2013, at least around 2012. And around that time, these guys were going bigger and bigger than ever, especially Pews. And a lot of people don't really know about certain YouTubers that I watch, which of course, you don't really care about, so what's the point? <laughs> but, I will say this, these guys are really good content creators, and I would say that after the purge, they really have fell off, I would probably say. Um, unfortunately, I feel bad for them because they don't deserve to be like literally falling off like this like they've earned something to say on YouTube and it literally just backfired I feel bad and I, I've just seen it like crawl into my own skin and then back into my brain I, I can't believe this it's ridiculous man if I'm gonna just put these channels up if, if you guys remember them But anyways, um, so let's move on. So we did a simple video around the time this happened. And of course, uh, when I did this video, uh, it was a video of a Black Cell Reload trick shot. If you guys find that, that has at least 170, or at least, at least 100 plus views. That's probably my view, most viewed video now. Now, uh, as far as anything, they, um, the thing is, not that many people subbed to my channel <laughs> at the time this 
video came out. <laughs> and I also did a little bit more FIFA content too, because I didn't do too much. As you guys can probably see in the background, if you guys don't see in the background, I'm doing FIFA. <laughs> I'm doing FIFA 20, but I'm also doing my career, which I basically did. Wait, no. Uh, I did. I did play. My bad. I did play because I didn't like try to do career because I realized a lot of people will backlash me for it. So yeah, I'm not even gonna go there. Anyway, so let's get into the benefits of the doubt. So throughout the last two years, this has been going on. Um, I had to rebrand in 2017 and then I had to do more videos around 2018 and that's when my old friends came back to me and it was my boy Rob uh, in case you guys don't know uh, crazy widows one of my good friends uh, that we used to do videos with um, we haven't seen him since then and we haven't seen um, most of the other people that we actually know and a lot of people don't really know this uh, about me because I actually did uh, did a video about this. I'm surprised it didn't go out. Did I? Did it? No. no. I'm not too sure because I did mention that the video was supposed to go out. Uh, that I mentioned that situation. But basically, um, we haven't seen Fat Rat within the last few years. And when he left, right, it was occurred to me that he basically kicked both of us, both me and Ethan, uh, the guy I mentioned before uh, that I did streams with, he kicked us both from a Minecraft server and we didn't see him since. And then I recently checked out um, that he basically started doing uh, music and shout out to him man, he actually went big on YouTube and went big on the music platform so congrats man really appreciate it. and like I said man we're sorry um if you guys want to know about that serious situation I'll explain it briefly right now um basically uh somebody who faked uh Captain Sparkle's account on 1.5.2 uh basically decided to raid everybody's skyblock uh or sorry skybase and uh, took everything like diamonds and everything like that and he keeps leaving every time so um, pretty much he just literally like decides to um, take everything and just rob every single person and basically Fat Rat had enough so he kicked every US player off the server and it was ridiculous because I couldn't figure out why and then the second he did and I was like what did we do? And pretty much, it just explained that there was an imposter. So, um, Captain Sparkles had nothing to do with that situation. So, but anyways, let's move on. Um, so past 2019, and this is around the time that things are actually uh, pissing up for me. I'm in, uh, I think I'm in June. No, um, yeah, I'm in junior year. I'm about to go straight out. Uh, during the summer, I actually did start doing more videos that I should have, and it was actually doing a little bit more better than I expected. Um, then after that, I actually started uh, doing um, more streams, like the Christmas stream I did uh, a few times, a few days ago, or at least a few months ago. My bad, at least a few months ago. Um, and then after that, I actually started doing um, like let's plays, uh, but um, of course, the let's plays take so long to do and. Of course, I never get time to just like sit down, get through everything, and then go through the entire series throughout the entire day because I don't have time to do that. So, of course, that's not really the only option I got. So, yeah. Um, but according with that, there was a lot that happened uh, in my life that I would say that really affected me as a person when it comes to YouTube. First was drama which was something that never happened in YouTube um, and it was ridiculous because we didn't have that type of drama at all until like I guess since the reactors came in and I didn't really like I didn't get bothered by them because there was no point of like beefing with them like they were just cool people so whatever and the second we literally had to deal with those guys it was ridiculous so we just 
like we just moved on from it like you can go to somebody that known this like for example the underground prodigy himself uh vash vash has been here since over a decade <laughs> over a fucking decade <laughs> he has been here for over a fucking decade he will tell you he will tell you that youtube has never been like this it has never been like this for anyone who is who's new to youtube these will tell you youtube was never like this it was never like this man like 2015 it was a basic basic thing that was like more confusing but also a upcoming situation to youtube to the point where the platform was getting bigger but on the other hand no one will tell you about 2011 because 2011 was around the time that things were actually going into their primes where things were trending and everything like that it wasn't even about like uh in particular stuff like gaming or anything like that it was just regular stuff like um tv stuff and and most importantly like new stuff that was going out like literally it was just ridiculous and the second it went out it was just all over the globe so a lot of people didn't really know about it and then when i released that um when I released that uh, post on my Instagram, for some of you who did, actually didn't see that, I, uh, or actually posted on my Twitter, I basically saw that around 2008. I saw it around 2008, and it was actually a good sign that I actually did because it was really cool. So I got into it, and it was something that I actually got used to. So whatever. Um, but yeah, it was just a meme for over a decade. A lot of people didn't really know that. So for those of you who didn't watch YouTube, this was, like I said, this was something that was completely different. So even Vash, even some people that actually know, even my good friends that literally streamed before me will tell you that YouTube was different back then. It was completely different. So for those of you who will actually tell me that, um, I know everything about YouTube. Trust me, you haven't touched the tip of the iceberg with this shit. You have not. It is ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Like, the second I wanted to do YouTube, I realized that I wasn't fit for a, jo a regular job. Like, like someone who is actually professional and all that. Because I was someone who basically just is a fuck up. Who is a big fuck up. I don't really do th do things for the benefit of the doubt where I can get things done and make sure they're actually in for the go and in for the win. It is a true thing to tell you that I am absolutely a fuck up. And that's what's funny about me. Like literally, I am an absolute fuck up that I am actually stupid as hell to the point where I am extremely dramatic and I will tell you that I cannot stand being a fuck up and when I get angry at that shit it is funny for anyone's entertainment I'm telling you but anyway I will say that in the end it was a good year man it was a good time throughout 2013 and 2015 but I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go straight through the life of streaming so streaming was very easy. Uh, a lot of people didn't really know this about me. Um, of course, um, I started around 2013 and that was the first time I actually did that. Um, and of course, when I first started in 2013, the channel started to grow and the channel started to grow real fast. It was something that I did notice that a lot of people were um, checking out because when I first hit 100 subs, um, it was also when I hit a thousand views and it was ridiculous because I didn't think I was going to get a thousand views within a day and it was I was like it, like it only took me about a month to get a hundred subs and a thousand views and I was sitting here like wow and then after that I started getting getting like what uh I started getting like what five K views it was like it was ridiculous so throughout the time i was streaming i was streaming more games 
I was also streaming a little bit more of like the Facebook thing. Like, I don't know why. I was face I was streaming Facebook. I was just having fun on stream. <laughs> That's all I was doing. And I also streamed games, which was actually something I did. And then when I first started doing horror games, it was when I realized that people really love this shit. Like, they love me screaming. They love how I get scared. It's something that I actually had to get used to. So, um, when I also did, like, Minecraft and all that stuff, that's when it actually started picking up momentum. Um, it started picking up momentum once I started playing Minecraft and all that. And, um, it was also when I was playing, like, the Super Smash game mode on their one of the servers. Uh, that's when I actually started blowing up. Um, but anyways, when I did do streaming, though, I had to be sure that I was ready to go uh, do everything I could. Um, I did it with Ethan, and Ethan was one of the um, one of the best friends I've ever had. Uh, he was from Texas. Uh, he was actually really, really cool dude. And um, when we first did streaming in, back in 2013, it was around the time that we were actually starting to get better at um, streaming. We were making a fool of our goddamn selves. And, of course, I knew that I was going to get my behind slapped. Because, number one, my parents hated when I screamed. Because they did not know what I was doing back then. They had no idea. Until, like, now. They had no idea what I did until now. It was ridiculous. Like, you guys got to realize, like, how much has changed for me since the last seven fucking years I've done YouTube. It's ridiculous, man. I am so fucking happy right now. <laughs> And I'm so happy to express this to you guys that you wouldn't touch the iceberg of how ridiculous it's been since then. Now, let's get to the recording portion of it. Now, of course, uh, I did Black Ops, but uh, there was a problem. I had to record on my phone and use a cup and cut the two sides of it. You guys already know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I did that, but oh god, I did I had PlayStation 3. <laughs> So I had to do it and I did start doing like certain challenges like for example I did the hot sauce challenge. I was like, I was about to fucking shit myself and I did it with one of my good friends in here. His name's Chandler. Uh, he's still here. He's gotten a little older I've seen her. I, oh, I've seen her. I've seen him for over a while So I've seen him and he's been doing pretty good over since then. So he's been He's been a pretty good get and uh, Yeah, I've known him since he was a really little kid. So I've known him for a while. Uh, but anyway. And then I met a few friends along the way too. Because they actually went through the journey with me. It was so good. It was so good. Shout out to y'all. You have been the realest OGs I've actually ever met since then. And uh, I also met like four friends when I did that parkour thing. Uh, which was. Um, I met Fantasy Gamer. Um got the rest of them but basically Chandler was one of them I think I think he was but I wasn't too sure but basically yeah uh, fantasy gamer I haven't seen that dude in over years man it's been years he hasn't spoke to anyone since a long time and I haven't seen um, Iron Giant for over the past few years too like those guys were one of the biggest people that I've met since then and minecraft was a big thing when it came to parkour so that's why i did it and then i started doing a role play which actually did do better too um and then i also did an advanced uh supply drop opening which was the biggest mistake of my life because <laughs> i completely didn't notice i spent 250 bucks on advanced supply drops didn't know i was spending my fa family's money on that much supply drops I thought it was at least like I was looking like I know I was like at least bought like ten bucks worth worth of it, but I didn't know I was spending that much to the point where I was like literally buying two hundred fit two no two hundred and fifty dollars worth of it. <laughs> I realized that I was like, are you serious? <laughs> How did I not realize this? And then of course I started recording throughout the entire time, and then. Um, I didn't do like certain edits like I didn't edit at all like I had Sony Vegas for, in case I wanted to do face cams But uh, the first ever face cam video I did like was around Black Ops 2 and dude 
It was not good, bruh. It was not good. I looked at that video and I realized, is that really gonna do any better? And then after that, I actually got uh, like at least 1k views on a reaction video I did on Zelda uh, that went trending. And I realized like, it is easy to get popular when it comes to reactions. That's when I realized, I'm like, are you serious? It takes that much? Are you joking? That's when I started doing uh, other, vi other videos on my second channel. Uh, which I had a second channel back then, which I did reactions, and I, dude, I, I kid you not, I did a try not to scare challenge, and I was afraid to turn off my fucking lights, cause I did, cause I did the try not to scare challenge, and the one time I did it, I did it in the dark, I literally turned every light off, I don't know why I did that, literally that was a bad idea, and I had face cam, I was like, what am I doing, what am I fucking doing? And then, of course, um, throughout, uh, 2017, at least, I actually did make a story, uh, channel, and it was a, mostly a vlog slash story channel, and I did a few things on there. Number one, I did explain how...